Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekend mystic affirmations for September the 15th through 17th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. Remember, if you'd like to have a personal reading, you can always check out my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, I thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes. Remember to share this with your friends. Everybody can use a little spoonful of positivity. And on we go, cranking up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, and using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible life now. And as we begin, let's see what the cards have to say. Hey! We have the hanged man, the glorious hanged woman in this particular deck. And it's the energy of being very much in looking at the big picture, understanding that the immediate circumstances are about to change in a great way. When you can look forward into your future and see past the obstacles of the, of the now and know that you will overcome them. You're, you're not ignoring what's happening right now. What you're doing is you're predicting and proclaiming that you have predicting and proclaiming that you have the power to change your destiny as far as you are aligned. So if you have been making off choices or got caught in something crazy, it's okay. It's coming through. So we can readjust and realign at any time you begin from where you are right now. Look at the bigger picture, get into the meditation, allow yourself to connect to divine. Bang! Here comes the Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely fabulous energy to break through any strongholds. This releases you from karmic debt. It allows you to move past all red lights. It Everything turns green. It's go, go, go. And you have every door of opportunity, including doors you do not even know exist, opening up and welcoming you in, asking for you to show up. So allow yourself to do so. Show up for yourself and the universe will show up for you. As you move forward, we have a wonderful energy moving in this great beginning. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Oh, my goodness. We have a welcome wagon going here. This is literally the, the welcome of the Hierophant. It's the Taurus Major Arcana, and it's the absolute excitement of the people who are welcoming you in either to membership to be a part of something maybe an event allowing you to have permission or grant you entrance if it's a job it can also be a school government agency or entity granting you permission for something as well whatever you've applied for here it comes with a big fat yes Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So here we go with our three cards out. And my air conditioner's kicking on. So it'll come in in a second. I want to remind you guys, please pay attention to the notifications you've been getting. I am going to be live on Sunday. It'll be 12 p.m. Texas time. Uh, for those of you who want to watch. And if not, you can check it out after the fact. It'll be up on the videos. And we have the strength card, Leo Major Arcana. So the beautiful energy of the Archangel Ariel. I realize this is a tiger. This is the energy of someone's beautiful artwork that they interpreted. So, beautiful tiger, also known as the Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God. That is a beautiful strength card energy, allowing you to move forward toward your goal without anything interfering so you won't be held back remember we got that breakthrough energy at the beginning with that wheel of fortune so you know that's going to come in handy 
We have gratitude, which is a great and wonderful way to start your day. Immediately put a smile on your face and say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy and grateful now that all my needs are met. Just say it that way. And then, then you know you've got everything included. Or thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm living my best possible life now. These are things that make a, a blanket statement. So you don't have to pick pick each little thing. When you say it like that, everything, it's like, bringing all your chakras into alignment all at one time so gratitude i am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance i have in my life today and you say but mystic i'm not feeling very abundant guess what we're going to be grateful for it to welcome it in even if we can't see it yet doesn't mean it's not there it just means we can't see it so when you announce that you are grateful for all the abundance you have in your life today, you've just told the abundance. Here I am. Come in. Show up. I'm, I already have it, so therefore it's coming. Now, I'm not saying stick your head in the sand. It's not about being crazy. It's about creating and manifesting. And that's how you do it. So, let's see what else we have in these beautiful cards. Oh, hey! Hello, Wheel of Fortune and Good Fortune in the same reading. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Now you notice it says prospects, which means you have to be the one to seize that when it shows up. The other thing is, you have the ability to speak this into being. If you don't, don't confirm that you don't have it. You want to be in a place of confirming that that's what happens to you. You're one of the luckiest people in the world. I am the luckiest person I know. Like, be in that mode. I know it sounds a little bit of chicken feathers, but it, it works. I promise. It works. So, here we go. If you haven't used it, try it. Do an experiment. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> and don't stop. That's the whole point. There's no timeline in the universe's movement. There's no time out there. It's only here on this 3D dimension. We're in the time, in this, in the energy of time. So stop worrying about when it's going to happen and blow your trumpet for your victory continuously every day to let it know. Come on, I'm still welcoming you in. I'm still accepting you. I'm still in that place of bringing you in. And then it aligns with you, literally, vibrationally, and shows up. That's how the universe does it. That's how miracles happen. The belief is stronger than the disbelief. Solar plexus chakra. This is the energy of your, um, right below, people call it the bread basket. It's where your ribs make that V, right below your sternum. So, the frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Now, if you want to know where the ego lives, it lives in your solar plexus. Because when something's reacting in that ego energy, you're going to feel it right there in that energy center of your body. The anxiety, the anger, the the need to compete, all of that ego stuff. Now, ego's great for, for when you're having to do all those things, but we don't want to wear our ego every day. That's, you know, we want to let ourselves only be in that place of, of asserting that energy when we need to. Relax. There is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light flowing from the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. You will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life. Love. Now, sometimes people get confused. It's not, we're not talking about romantic love. We're talking about... The love that you emanate from your heart. Your heart is the center of that electrical field that is pulsing throughout you. And as you allow yourself to be in that energy of creation and healing and love and attraction to the things that you are trying to move forward in, then you are aligned with that energy of love. Here we go. 
Ooh, yes, and the universe is aligned with moving forward, launching in the right direction. The Six of Swords are all aimed the same direction, that means, and they're not pointing toward me, so that's a way. And that means you're moving in the, in the right direction going forward, and you're not going to hit any snags. So we love that. It means you have the experience, the skills, and the ability to do what you're setting out to accomplish. Hey, Wheel of Fortune! We love, love, love it, and here it is again. So it's made sure it showed up a second time so that we all know it meant to be there in the first cut cards. You know that's your breakaway energy. That's where all things get out of the way. And even if it doesn't get out of the way, you're going to surmount it. You're going to be able to overcome it without even getting close to it. And you're going, but when? This is the moment. <laughs> the nine of wands or nine of rods is the energy of remember you're as close to the breakthrough as you can get at this very moment. And here we go. This is just hanging in there long enough. Not quitting five minutes before your miracle. Stay in the energy of allowing yourself to hold on till your name is called, your number is called, or whatever shifts in the universe, especially with that Wheel of Fortune at play. So you have the ability to do that. It's, it's just any second you're going to launch forward. So it's telling you, just make ready for this moment because it is churning and turning and you will be able to move forward. So many blessings to you for this beautiful weekend. I will see you again on Monday. Namaste, my beautiful friends.